Whoopsie Daisy. She was getting ready to go, and then a six-two with her arm extended made her uh, made her reconsider. But she had already left her feet. This is it right there. That there post up. And look what happened. <laughs> That's what Robinson does. 19 charges in 16 ACC games a year ago. That is what she does. Georgia Tech getting what they want inside and Robinson just in position and, and takes it. Sold it. Kubai called for the foul, but you're right, that is one of Robinson's specialties, a, a great defensive player. And in that time she drew the charge. I don't know about that stuff. Well, if, if you're Georgia Tech, you can't let that keep you from going inside to her. That's the right play. Yeah, right. It was the right Finally. look. And if you're Kubai, you certainly have to continue to be aggressive inside. Jeff Walls has just been called for a technical foul. It looked like Jeff Walls was asking him to review the play. Because Robinson was hit in the face, it looked like he was asking him to review the play. The last play is being reviewed for a possible see intentional the elbow foul. Up around the head. I think it was just a basketball play, but anyway, Coach Walls called for the technical foul. We'll be back. After the technical foul, given to Jeff Walls for complaining about them not going to the monitor. The officials went to the monitor and they have determined that this was a common foul. And it's the right call. I mean, there, there was nothing egregious or excessive. You know, un unfortunately, when you're a perimeter player, you happen to be right at that height. And Mikasa Robinson did a good job of standing her ground, did a good job of selling it, but I think that's the right call. But the technical foul against Jeff Walls will result in free throws. Maybe Coach Walls trying to light a fire under his team. They have had 10 straight empty possessions in the last four and a half minutes. Missing all six shots, turning the ball over four times, but still only trailing by three. 